you might learn some uh, German numbers from this channel. Isn't that exciting? You learn about reselling and you learn German too. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Veronica and I'm a part-time reseller. I sell primarily women's clothing on the platforms Poshmark, eBay and Mercari, occasionally also on Kitizen and ThreadUp. And today I have part two of my massive Goodwill outlet haul for you. Today we're going to be talking about items that I'm taking to close mentor and potentially Plato's closet. Both of those are buy sell trade stores that buy your gently used clothing. And uh, yeah, they give you a little bit of money for them. So I've seen a lot of reselling YouTubers do the pounds to Plato's challenge or type of videos. I've seen Jack Valentine do it. You probably all know him. I've seen Riley from Riles Thrifted do it a whole lot and they're both great at it. They're much better than I am. Um, and also I've seen my friend Margaret who is dressed in Avenue here on YouTube uh, do a type of video like that so I will link her video down below she just started her channel not too long ago and yeah go check it out and support her as well I am not great with consignment stores and taking items to consignment stores I don't think I always know what exactly they want I've had good luck though at my local clothes mentor um, Clothes Mentor, I believe, is owned by the same company as Plato's Closet, but they typically cater a little bit more to a more mature, professional audience. So you will find less Forever 21 and maybe more Ann Taylor and Loft there. And I've had good luck there before taking items from the bins that were new with tags. And it didn't really seem to matter where these items came from in terms of where they were sold originally. I took dresses from Kmart and Sears and they took them and they paid me between two and three dollars for each item. So, so far everything that I've taken there that still had tags on it and didn't have any other flaws, they have accepted. And I've only done this twice, um, once primarily with items from my Poshmark closet that I just wanted to get rid of and uh, that went reasonably well and then once I've done it specifically going to the bins picking out items that were new with tags and then taking them to close mentor and I've also sourced items from the bins that were new with tags to send them to thread up now with the recent thread up changes um, with their changes in payout I'm not really using ThreadUp in that way anymore. I never really got into the whole ThreadUp reselling business model to begin with. I do have a few boxes that I send in that they still have, but it's not been that lucrative for me and I just don't think it would have been a great option for me to begin with. So I've never really uh, used ThreadUp in that way, but I will still use ThreadUp for stale inventory, inventory I just basically want to get rid of. Maybe if I have a luxury item that I think will sell better and faster and for more money on ThreadUp, I might send that. But as of right now, I'm only packing up a box for ThreadUp with items that I just don't want in the house anymore that maybe were given to me or that were really stale in my own Poshmark closet and I will send them a box that has no return insurance, nothing like that. Anyway, we're not here to talk about ThreadUp today, although we're going to talk about ThreadUp for uh, two seconds here in the beginning. I want to introduce to you Miss Diane over here and Miss Lily over here. Both of these are mannequins are named after Diane von Furstenberg and Lily Pulitzer. No particular reason other than I once took a picture of them when I first got them and she was wearing Lily and she was wearing Diane and so they're Lily and Diane. Anyway, they're both wearing items that I thrifted and that are for sale in my Poshmark closet. We have Miss Lily over here in a vintage 3D knit sweater. It's kind of the Coogee vibe, less colorful, but still has the 3D knit going on. I recently thrifted this item. We'll see how she does. Over here, we have Miss Diane in a Aster the Label blouse. It's my first time finding this particular brand and I'm very excited. Got this one during the same Goodwill trip when I got her. So 
Both these items will be for sale in my Poshmark closet by the time this video comes out. This is a good way of uh, keeping me on track. Also, I must apologize. I know I previously said that I will always try to wear something thrifted in my videos. I'm not wearing anything thrifted today other than the lounge pants that I'm in that you cannot see. Anyway, this sweater I'm wearing is not thrifted. It's just from Target, but it's so comfy. And I didn't want to get changed for this video today. I'm also trying out a little microphone that I picked up on Amazon. I can link it down below. I hope it will improve the sound quality of my videos. And fun fact, the same day I ordered this one, I saw my queen, Becky Park, uh, make a video where she's trying out her new microphone. And I thought that was such a fun little coincidence. So now it looks like I'm imitating her because my video is coming out after hers. But that's okay because on some level, I'm pretty sure I am because she's my idol and I love her. And if you don't know who she is, what are you doing with your life? Go subscribe to Becky Park on Poshmark. Okay, enough of that. Let's get into this haul and into the items that I'm taking to Close Mentor. And I will show them, I will tell you what they are. They all have the original tags on it or partial tags um, on them. So I will not say that every single time. And I thrifted all of them from the bins. And what I'm going to do is, as I'm showing them, when I edit this video, I will show you in a corner somewhere uh, whether Close Mentor accepted them or not. And then at the end, I will come back after my trip and will tell you how much I got from them and how many of these sold. So my most recent bins haul, I picked up 65 pounds of clothing. My bins charge $1.29 per pound of clothing once you get beyond 20 pounds. So that's my cost of goods. I have about 25 pounds of clothing here. I haven't counted the items yet, but I will, of course, do that before I take them to Close Mentor. The first two items uh, are from the bins, but from a different bins haul. I just threw them in there. They are actually ThreadUp reclaims. I had sent them to ThreadUp. They got attention. They got likes. One actually sold and was returned, which is always a little sucky. But those two items are going to Close Mentor slash maybe Plato's Closet as well. So let's get started. So the first one is just a pair of Forever 21 denim, color denim, orange skinny jeans. Tag still on there. It's this label, which until very recently I did not realize the XXI is Forever 21. It makes sense. It's the number 21. I just never really realized it. I don't know if either store is going to take them because colorful denim does not do well, but I'm thinking between the two, uh, Play-Dohs might be more likely to take it. This next item is just Apartment 9 and it's a maxi skirt. And uh, again, it has the tags on it. It retailed for $36. It's just Apartment 9 is just sold at Kohl's. And this one actually sold on ThreadUp, uh, gave me a very little payout, but then was returned. So no payout for me, um, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Okay, these were the two items that I had sent to ThreadUp previously, so I picked them up at the bins um, a few months ago. I don't know how long ago that was. So they went through the whole ThreadUp cycle, and they're back here now, and I just don't want to list them. Now we're getting to the items that I picked up at my most recent bins haul. If you have not seen that video um, where I showed you the items that I picked up to resell myself. I will link that here or there, somewhere over here. Uh, this first item that I'm going to take is T by Talbots. It's very hard to see, but I can also show you the actual tag. It's just the Talbots tag. Here we go. And this little shirt retailed for $50 or $49.50. And it's just a striped, sort of very basic long sleeve tee. And uh, I'm pretty sure Close Mentor is going to take that. Next up, we got US Polo Assassin. I never picked this brand up, but it has the tags on it. It's a thermal, it's pink, and it retailed for $30. There was a clearance sticker on the price tag that I took off. So you can still tell that there was a sticker on there, but you can't tell what the clearance price was. So we'll see. 
The next two items are both a brand I never touch for my own closet. I have one item by this brand in my closet because it's cute, but for the most part, I do not touch this brand because it's LuLaRoe. And this is just a little pencil floral mini skirt. It actually still has the Goodwill tag. So I will pop that real quick and try to make sure I get it out. But LuLaRoe, I'm sure you've all seen this tag. And so I have this pencil skirt and then I have the exact same model and just a different print, also new with tags because nobody wants LuLaRoe, but maybe Close Mentor does, or maybe Plato's Closet. So both kind of have this floral pattern. I believe they're both an extra large. Oh, one is a large, one is an extra large. Um, and they're both the Cassie model. I don't know what that means. I'm not a LuLaRoe expert and I don't want to be, but uh, originally I thought they were the same size. So if Close Mentor or Plato's does not take them, my plan was to lock them up, which I cannot do if, uh, they're a different size but we'll see this next item I mostly picked up based on style not so much on brand and again because it is new with text it's just Kato and it's this pair of micro plaid houndstooth pants which I believe is kind of a trend for fall I believe I've heard youtubers talk about this Kato this retailed for Originally, I believe $46, which is crossed out, and then there's a sale price on here. I don't know what Close Mentor does with that, but unlike ThreadUp, they don't really look at the price on the tag. They just have their chart or folder or their database where they have their prices, how they're pricing their items. And then they go by that. So I don't think this would go for much, but if I can get two bucks for it and I have maybe a dollar into it that works for me i have not been counting these items but i will start doing that one two three four five six seven okay so this one's item number eight it's new york and company and it's just this olive green tank well not tank top it's a sleeveless blouse it's kind of an overlay this retailed for 35 dollars it's an extra large so I think maybe based on size, style, color for fall, it's a nice little career top. And I think Close Mentor does like to pick up those type of like career pieces, even though most of us are just doing work from home these days. Okay, this next one only has a clearance tag, not an original tag on it. It's Full Tilt, which I think is a junior's brand. Uh, the size is a size small and it just has a Tilly's tag on it that says 1999 but it's kind of cute and embroidered just a great little staple piece so this is item number nine next we have a shirt from Nordstrom Rack and it's LOD I believe that's how you say it and it's a size medium it retailed for 1997 so 20 bucks and it has the what is it the lettuce hem yeah i believe it's the lettuce hem and it's kind of striped in a textured way and it's just a basic white tee i didn't see any flaws on it i will look these over a little bit more though before i actually take them in and yeah hopefully they will take them next up we have a pair of leggings by a brand that i personally do like for myself uh, it's marika or marika sport this one doesn't actually have the tags, but it does have the sticker still on it. So it was definitely not worn. It's a size medium. With active wear, I always like to try and memorize these little icons in the back. So if I flip through the racks, I can quickly spot the brand. Of course, my dream is to find more Lululemon and I really don't find a lot of Lululemon find a lot of LuLaRoe, not a lot of Lululemon. This next item is a bodysuit and it's a cold shoulder bodysuit with a floral print. Absolutely not something I would pick up on a normal day or from my own closet or store. It's body central, it's a size medium. It does not have a price on it or it may have had a price on it, but it was cut off. 
but that's okay. Um, the tag is from Body Central itself, and so we'll see how that does. I think that would be cute under a blazer, for example, just like a layering piece. So, you know, maybe Close Mentor will take it. This next one, I think, if anything, uh, Close Mentor will take it, not Play-Dohs. It's very dated, in my opinion. It's Ann Taylor, and it's a brown floral shell. Uh, it does tie, I'm guessing, in the back. And it has a little bit of pleating going on in the front here. So there are some cute accents. It's just the color that I find very depressing. <laughs> Um, it's Ann Taylor, like I said, size 6. This retailed for $68 and I believe it is silk. Um, I will double check. But maybe based on fabric content and retail value, maybe they will take it. It is 100% silk, so I don't know if Close Mentor looks at that, but I feel like this is something that they might take um, whenever I go there and they look through my items i usually browse and and see what they have on their shelves and i've definitely seen a lot of loft and and taylor on there close mentor also is the place where i found my first pair of good american shorts and i sold them for a good bit of money i was very excited um, i find really good jean brands there they're usually very expensive and I do think my Close Mentor does have a sale coming up this weekend. I have to double check. If that's the case, I will go after the sale is over because they usually do not buy during a sale. And my thinking is if I come in after the sale, they might be more likely to accept more items because they have made some room. So hopefully that's going to work out. Okay, this next one is a brand that I've never picked up. It's Grace Elements. I have no idea where this is sold. And it doesn't have a price on it. It just says ruffle edge top. And I don't know, I think it's pretty dated, but we will find out what Close Mentor thinks. I forgot to count. I'm horrible at this. It's five, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fifteen. I often count in German, I'm sorry. So, fifteen. You might learn some uh, German numbers from this channel. Isn't that exciting? You learn about reselling and you learn German too. I have no idea what this next brand is. I'm guessing it's a boutique brand. I haven't looked it up. It's Ruli, Ruli, I believe. It's an extra, extra small. It does have the tag, but it does not have a price on it. But it is a nice mustard yellow fall color. I know we're moving into winter. Um, and it does have a little bit of texture to it. So I think it's a nice staple piece that they might want. Okay, up next we have a brand I've never heard of. I don't think it does particularly well. It's Uji. I found two items by this brand at my bins. This one was the only one that had tags on it. It does have, um, I believe it's Russian writing on it and it is a US size 4 and it's a navy pair of skinny ankle pants with this little paisley pattern. It's a nice piece of little career pants if that's what you like to wear. So I'm hoping they will take it even though it's a very random brand that I don't think is very popular. This next pair, I believe these are men's, and I'm not sure if Close Mentor does take men's. I know Plato's does. I'm really not sure, but I'll throw them in there. Um, they're just Cherokee, and they're a pair of just khakis. If Close Mentor does not take them, I might just send them to Thread Up. And if they want to put them in a men's box at some point, they can do that. This next brand, I also don't know what this is. It's Just Living. And the tag says, Just Living the Dream. It's a size large. And it's this kind of like seersucker tie front top with buttons. Uh, it feels nice. It kind of feels like it could be an organic cotton, even though I feel like the tag does not look like it is. It is 100% cotton. It doesn't say whether it's organic cotton or not, but it's kind of like an earthy staple piece. Almost a little bit like Lagen look, but not really. 
I forgot to count again. <laughs> I'm just gonna put the count in at the end because I keep forgetting to count. Okay, what are you? We got Abercrombie and Fitch, paperback waist short. Yes, it's short. I have to lint roll this one. It's just a basic pair of black shorts. It's a size small. If Close Mentor doesn't take these, I will take them to Plato's. So I think they might, even though it's um, not the right season. So we'll see. Uh, these retailed for $54, if you can believe it. But they're a great little staple piece. And if neither store takes them, I will probably just list them. And if they don't sell by the spring, I will just go back and try them again. This next item has a Ross tag on it. Um, it just has a sticker where the price used to be. And it's kind of, you can't really read what it's trying to say. Um, so it has a Ross tag and the brand is just Mark. I don't know what this brand is, but I thought this dress was kind of cute and it's an extra, extra large. And it has this little bit of an accent waistband. I don't know, I thought it was nice and because it's plus size, and has a nice print, I picked it up. This is something I will totally list myself if they don't take it. This next pair of pants is another pair of dress pants, high rise, straight leg, and the brand is Bogari. It's a size eight, and it has a tag on it in the back where it says it retailed for $100. It did have some clearance tags on it from Marshalls, I believe, that uh, I think it said either $19.99 or $9.99. I took those off. Uh, if this doesn't sell to Close Mentor or Play-Dohs, I will probably just send it to ThreadUp and if they don't want it, they can do whatever with it. I don't think I want to list this. I also would not want to list this necessarily. It's just Basic Editions, which is a Kmart brand. Yes, uh, it's a size extra large though. And it is cute. It's a cute little staple piece. It's very soft. It has this lace accent. It only retails for $23, yes. But it's an extra large and I like stripes. What can I say? This one, I think, if not Close Mentor, then Play-Dohs will take it. It is Forever 21, which I feel like is very much what Play-Dohs is looking for. It retailed for $22.90, and it's a off-the-shoulder, very basic top, but it has these cool, colorful tassels at the bottom. So it's kind of boho, very cute, did not seem to have any stains. I will look it over again, of course, um, and make sure it does not. Next up, a brand that I also don't pick up. It also doesn't retail for a whole lot. It's Fred David. I believe it had a tag with the price on it that I cut off because it was so cheap. Uh, again, I will just send this to thread up. If it doesn't sell and if they don't send it back to me, that's fine too. It's just a blouse. It has a little bit of a cutout detail. It's polka dot, it's orange and it's a size 2X. So hopefully based on that, they will take it because I think um, plus size always sells well and is usually accepted by stores like Close Mentor. This next pair I also feel like is kind of on trend right now, even though the brand probably is not, but I can totally see a blogger wear this. It's this pair of almost wide leg, micro plaid houndstooth pants they're folded over at the bottom i might need to steam them a little bit the brand is just stacy adams which i do believe is a woman's brand but they could also be men so i'm not entirely sure sorry about that uh, it's a size 36 so based on that it might be a man's piece but honestly these are kind of cool and i can totally see an influencer wear these with like a little crop top and a sweater maybe. I don't know, I feel like these are something that uh, somebody who goes thrifting um, and is in their mid twenties would pick up. I'm not sure. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm way, way past my mid twenties. I'm in my late thirties. I don't know what the kids wear today, but these I will actually list if they don't sell. Based on style, not on brand. This next brand, 
I think it's just lifestyle petite. It's a size petite large and it is an embroidered little blouse. Cute little embroidery and print. It's just a nice little piece and if it doesn't sell to either clothes mentor or play-dohs I will list it myself. It does not have a price on it but it does have the tag. Okay we only have three more items I believe. Uh, this next one I might list myself. I haven't decided yet. I have to look up comms. Um, it is out of season so they might not even take it. It's a bathing suit but it is a definitely plus size I have to find the size um, it's a purple bathing suit new with tags and hold on is it a bathing suit oh it's just a tankini top I'm sorry so it's a purple tankini top new with tags it's definitely plus size it has these fun little gold accents here the strappy detail in the back the brand is seekers contour and it does all kinds of things, flattens the tummy, etc., etc. If your tummy isn't flat, that's okay. A little bit of a PSA here and, you know, throwing some body positivity out there. It's totally fine if your tummy is not flat. It's a 24W. So I think this will do well if I list it too. I might just try it there first, but if they don't take it because it's not the right season, I have no problem listing that. Plus size sells very well for me, even if, even if it's not Torrid or another well-known brand. Okay, now we have the complete opposite of this. I don't know who can wear this because it doesn't really cover anything. <laughs> and the brand is Zaful which I think retails for what five bucks it's like another Shein um, situation it is a US size 6 I think it might be a bikini top I have no idea what this is I I mean it weighs nothing so I might list it if they don't want it or I might just send it to thread up I really don't care what happens with that <laughs> little piece of fabric okay last item all right so the angle is a little bit different it's because I knocked over my tripod <laughs> it's because I have this microphone connected so the cable is kind of in the way anyway I'll be careful last item Zach and Rachel and it's a slim leg pair of pants that retails for $60 and these are just like cream off-white pair of pants it's a size 16 so again it's another plus size I might list these myself if they don't sell I might send them to thread up I'm not sure yet so we'll see um, hopefully they will accept all of these items and of course uh, if you're watching this you have the advantage because you see the little icons um, that will tell you what they took and what they didn't take now I will be back and talk to you about how many items this was with what they took and how much I got for all of them. Four to six days later. Okay guys, I am back from Close Mentor and uh, it was a little bit disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. If you kept track of my numbers, then you saw that they only took 12 items out of 29. That's not great, uh, the payout was not great either, but it's fine, you know, I got rid of them and I didn't necessarily make a lot of money on them, but I kept them out of a landfill. So I was a little bit surprised by some of the items that they took versus what they didn't take. Others um, was no surprise to me because some of the more summery juniors items I didn't really expect them to take those right now. Um, but yeah, so overall it was okay. It was not my best trip to close mentor. I think if this experience taught us anything is that I'm not really great at this whole buy sell trade thing. That's okay. Out of the 29 items, the 12 items that they took, they offered me either $18 in cash or $19.80 in store credit. So that's not great. <laughs> uh, it's actually really sad, but whatever. Um, I took the store credit because I also picked up four items while I was there. And I actually decided I will list a couple of the items that they didn't take. So out of the remaining 17 items that they did not want, I will be listing those micro plaid Stacey Adams pants 
I could be completely off here. So please let me know in the comments if you think I've lost it. But I think those are kind of a trend right now, aren't they? So I might be able to put them on and model them. It's not something I usually do, especially not for pants, because I'm very self-conscious of that part of my body. Um, but if I can model them and they actually look good, maybe they'll sell. We shall see. Um, but I will be listing those. So the Microplats Stacey Adams pants. I will also be listing the Forever 21 sort of tassel top, which I think is actually a dress. I kept saying top, but I think it might be a dress. I will be listing that one. If it doesn't sell by the summer, I will just take it to Play-Doh's or send it to ThreadUp. Same goes for the Abercrombie shorts. I think they're really cute. And yeah, they might not sell right now. Or maybe they will. Who knows? I've sold Christmas sweater in August and I've sold bikinis in December. So people buy stuff all the time. I do list off season and people buy off season. I will also be listing that Nordstrom white very basic LOD shirt. I think it's cute. It's a great staple. It's not going to go for much, but it's fine. Uh, and then also, what else am I listing? I'm also listing that blue plus size dress uh, that had the Ross tag on it, the mark, I think. Um, I will be listing that because I think it's just a nice style. It's probably going to sell closer to the summer. If it doesn't, I'll send it to ThreadUp. And then I'm also listing the New York & Company, that olive green top, that kind of like a shell or a, a sleeveless blouse, I guess. Uh, I think that's a good little career piece. And if it doesn't sell, I might actually keep it for myself. I think it should fit me or I will send it to ThreadUp. So anything that they didn't take and that I didn't mention, will go in a box to thread up and that's going to be a box that i don't want back if things don't sell they can keep them they can put those cherokee pens straight into a men's rescue box if you get them like a year from now because that's probably how long it's going to take thread up to process everything uh think of me because they're coming from my house to yours via thread up so I only went to Close Mentor. I did not go to Plato's Closet. I just did not think it was worth my time. And also, I don't think it's worth my time to go back and try these items again. I know some people do that, and that's great. It works for a lot of people. I just think that time that I would spend going there and waiting for them to sort through it, only to maybe sell two more items, I can use that time to just list whichever items I think are okay to list and then probably make a little bit more money off of those if they do sell. I will price them low, but if they sell, I will definitely make more than just a dollar or two <laughs> on them. So I think that works for me. It's a good balance between the two. I also have to say I did not take them amazing items as you've seen so I did not really expect a whole lot I know people take much much better brands and, and styles of clothing there the reason I'm not doing that is the same reason I'm not sending amazing pieces to thread up because I want to list them myself I want to sell them myself and I want to get a higher payout so the items that I'm sending in my crap box I will definitely not max out the prices on those I will keep it right at 50% if they sell and I make two dollars great if not, that's fine. I do not need those items in my house. I have very limited storage space and I have about a thousand items <laughs> in my small little office here, not all of which are listed yet. So I need things out of my house and I don't need to sit on it and wait for a better time to take them to Close Mentor. It's just, it needs to either be listed or it needs to be gone. So that's my approach to that. Um, so even though those items weren't amazing and my payout was not great, I do hope this was helpful just to help you gauge what kind of items to take and what not to take so that you can make sort of an informed decision. I know every buy sell trade store is looking for different things. I know within each store, each buyer buys different things. So it's always a little bit of a gamble, but I do think it's important to put videos like this one out there because I think it's very helpful to see what others experiences. So if you enjoy videos like this and other videos like what souls and haul videos and unboxings, then please do consider subscribing and hit that bell notification so that you get notified when I post a new video. Right now I'm posting videos 
videos every Tuesday and Friday. Uh, this video is going out on a Friday and then the coming Tuesday there will be another what sold video. And I do have some unboxing videos coming up once I receive an order from Backstock. I have two orders pending with them. I already know what's in the box but I want to show you guys as well. I also have a Poshmark unboxing coming up so uh, stay tuned for that. Also leave me a comment down below if you have any experience with buy sell trade stores. If you've done really really well, if you have any great strategies to share, please leave them down below. Um, or if you just want to chat, leave me a comment. Okay guys, uh, also hit that like button if you liked this video. And if you didn't like it, you can hit that thumbs down button. That's fine. It's all good. All right, I will see you guys in my next video on Tuesday for another What Sold for the week of December 13th through the 20th. And I really hope I'll have some good sales. Fingers crossed for that. I hope you guys have really great sales and have a great holiday time. Bye guys.